Hey everyone, it's Patrick from Oakland Travel and welcome to Copenhagen, Denmark on September 4th, 2022. We have flown over from Orlando, Florida to board the Voyager of the Seas for a 14 night Arctic crossing cruise. Uh, here you see a little bit of Copenhagen. We didn't get to see as much as we wanted to because we had some problems uh, with some baggage during one of the flights getting over to Copenhagen from Orlando. Uh, we're going to cover all of that in a separate vlog series that is uh, sort of our trip over and what little bit we did get to see of Copenhagen. That'll be kind of a separate series. But for now, we're getting started on the Voyager of the Seas. This is in the taxi right here kind of heading from our hotel over to the cruise terminal. After many months of preparation for this cruise, it was so nice to finally be here at the terminal and getting ready to kind of board the ship and so on. So we were definitely looking forward to this. Uh, the process in the terminal was extremely quick. Drop the luggage, go in, check of the passport, you know, check of the uh, COVID test results, and it's just right to the ship. If you like that cruising and travel lifestyle, consider subscribing to our channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss any of the vlog episodes that we put up on the channel similar to this one. We also put up shorts on a daily basis, plus we go live every Wednesday night for the cruise and travel discussion. If you want to show your support for the channel, hit the like button on this video. We're essentially sort of coming to the ship as if we were like on a shore excursion, which was kind of an interesting little process. This was also one of my first cruises where I'm using the new 360 camera that I purchased just for this cruise. So uh, going forward in the vlog series, I'll be having some fun with the 360 and trying to give you some good, you know, different angles and so forth throughout the cruise. And so they've got this all set up. They had been uh, doing cruises all throughout the summer. So they had this process in Copenhagen kind of down to a science at this point. <laughs> Those familiar beeps from the uh, Royal Caribbean security as you're either scanning on or off the ship. Uh, we always love those because it means we're on a cruise. So now we make our way over to the elevators and uh, it's right around lunchtime. I think our official check-in time slot was around 1130. So you know that means we're heading straight to the Windjammer for lunch. I pay attention to them without you. I thought you left. Huh? Yeah. 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 I'm going off of the Other numbers? 27, 25, okay, that's a good one. 64, yeah. everything's good. You're going to be on this elevator. 11, 7, 8. Yes, yep, 11, 7, 8. Oh, okay. The rooms aren't ready, just so you know. Yeah. What? Let's go back down. Come on. Yeah. Forget it then. Forget it. Yeah, don't go. We'll wait outside until they are ready. <laughs> oh, we're getting Seven. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we not they may be ready. Wash your hands. Well, they don't have any washing stations. We sanitize. I miss that video. I think that's cute. Washy, washy. Oh, this would be nice. Thank you. Oh, man. I 
need to promise. Yeah. I don't know where it is. Maybe you're right. Maybe oh, it's it's right. Right. Oh, it's, oh, you are right. It's right here. See what happens when you've never been on the ship? One of my favorite areas of the ship on some of these older Royal Caribbean ships that uh, have the, the wind jammer that is structured like this, like the Voyager class and so forth. Uh, it has plenty of space designed properly, the hand washing stations, just the whole thing. Uh, in May of 2022, we had been on the Harmony of the Seas and we didn't have the best experience with the wind jammer. Just kind of the, the design, the layout, it, was, it felt cramped. Uh, the hand washing stations were not very well designed and they, they created a bottleneck which caused lines to get into the wind jammer um, and so it was really nice on you know the Voyager to come back to uh, what I consider to be the traditional sort of wind jammer setup where you don't run into those problems that we ran into on the Harmony. For us this was kind of like the third time in a year of coming back to the wind jammer that we love. Uh, all of the food was amazing you know top-notch uh, consistent uh, just everything that we came to expect from the wind jammer it delivered on the Voyager of the Seas. stuff around the back too. I mean, why don't we just... Just whatever. Pick something. Oh, you're going right here? Okay. Here we are down on deck number five and get ready to cross through the area where the guest services desk is. At this point, we're just kind of milling around a little bit uh, before the sail away and just taking care of a couple of loose ends here and there. I think we had our eye on a shore excursion that was not available pre-cruise. So we were going to look into to doing that and just, uh, you know, enjoying the ship.